Hey guys, welcome to vdchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss volume of spear. So in this video we are going to discuss this topic under three different sections. So coming to the first section where we are going to deal with the introduction to spear and in the next section we are going to discuss formula to find the volume of a spear and in the last section we are going to discuss few examples on that formula so first let me define what is a spear so spear is a round geometrical object in three dimensional space that resembles the shape of a round ball so here in the figure you can observe an object which resembles the shape of round ball so this object is called as spear and it have only one face and it doesn't have any edge or a corner and then come into the next section where we are going to deal with the formula to find the volume so volume of sphere includes the amount of space inside the sphere and also the area of all the surfaces so such volume is given by the formula 1 by 3 into base into height and it is already proved that sphere consists of areas of four circles and the area of each circle is equal to pi r square so areas of four circles forms the base so here we get 1 by 3 into 4 times of pi r square into height that is radius over here so here multiplying all the terms we get the area as 4 by 3 pi r cube cubic units as the formula to find volume of sphere and now come into the next section where we are going to deal with few examples so here given example is sphere has diameter of 6 cm and it is beaten and drawn into a wire of diameter 0.2 cm then find the length of wire so here we are given sphere diameter that is 6 cm so the radius of sphere will be equal to half of diameter so half of 6 is 3 so we get radius is equal to 3 cm and then substituting r equal to 3 in the formula for volume that is 4 by 3 into pi r cube we get 4 by 3 into 22 divided by 7 the value of pi into the radius cube that is 3 into 3 into 3 cubic centimeters given wire has a diameter of 0.2 cm so the radius of wire will be equal to half of 0.2 and we get here r equal to 0.1 as the wire will be in the form of a cylinder so here we use the formula of volume of cylinder to find the volume of wire so here volume equal to pi r square h and then substituting the value of r in the formula we get 22 divided by 7 into r squared that is 0.1 into 0.1 into the height so here let us write height h equal to l here so hence spear is beaten and drawn so the volume of spear will be equal to volume of the wire so first let us simplify here so here 3 3 gets cancelled and by multiplying 4 into 22 we get 88 divided by 7 into 9 which will be equal to the volume of wire and here we get 22 divided by 7 into 0.1 into 0.1 that is 0.01 which you can write as 1 by 100 into the l and in order to find value of l let us transfer these terms to the left hand side so by transferring it becomes the reciprocal so here we get l equal to 88 divided by 7 into 9 and here 1 by 100 becomes 100 into the reciprocal of the value of pi which is 7 by 22 here and here by simplifying 7 1 time is 7 and then 7 1 time is 7 and then 22 1 time is 22 and 22 4 times is 88 and then multiplying all the terms we get l equal to 3600 cm which is nothing but the length of the wire and then come into the next example The given example is a cylindrical vessel of diameter 4 cm is filled with water and 300 lead balls that is POs are placed in it. The water level has risen to 0.8 cm 
then find the diameter of each ball so here we are given diameter of a cylindrical vessel so radius will be equal to half of diameter so here we get r equal to 2 cm and whereas the water level has risen so height will be equal to 0.8 which is 4 by 5 cm and it is a cylindrical vessel so first let us find the volume of cylinder which is given by the formula v equal to pi r square h and then substituting the values of r and h in the formula we get 22 divided by 7 into r square that is 2 square which is 4 over here into the height 4 by 5 and here by multiplying all the terms in the numerator we get 352 divided by the denominator 35 and then here we are given with 300 lead balls so balls are in the form of spheres so first let us find the volume of spheres so volume of sphere is given by the formula 4 by 3 pi r cube so here volume of 300 lead balls will be equal to 300 into 4 by 3 into the value of pi that is 22 divided by 7 into r cube r can be written as d by 2 that is half of diameter so we get a d by 2 whole cube and here by simplifying we get 3 one time is 3 and 3 100 times is 300 and so multiplying all the terms in the numerator we get 8800 divided by 7 into 2 cube that is 8 into d cube So here by simplifying we get 8 one time is 8 and 8 1100 times is 8800. So here we get 1100 divided by 7 d cube. So here in order to find the diameter of each ball let us equate both the volumes of sphere and also the volume of cylindrical vessel. So here by equating we get 352 divided by 35 which is equal to 1100 divided by 7 d cube and now in order to find the value of d cube that is diameter of each ball let us transfer these values to the left hand side so here we get d cube is equal to 352 divided by 35 into the reciprocal of these terms which will be 7 by 1100 and here by simplifying we get 7 one time is 7 and 7 five times is 35 So here by simplifying we get the result as 0.064 which is nothing but 0.4 whole cube. So here d cube is equal to 0.4 whole cube so we get d equal to 0.4 which is equal to 2 by 5 cm. So this is the diameter of each ball and then come into the radius which is nothing but half of the diameter so here half of 2 by 5 is 1 by 5 so here we get 0.2 cm as the radius of each ball so this was the basic introduction on volume of sphere hope you understood the concept do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day